We're the Brownlow boys. That's me, Terry, and this is my boy, Jamie. We've been dealing in safes for 28 years, and this one here is one of the best. So good, in fact, we're putting 200 big ones in it. And if you can crack our safe, the dough's yours. But don't count on getting inside too easy. It's nearly one ton of solid steel. The doors are five and a half inches thick, and it's been specially designed to resist attack from torches and drills alike. So far, our safe has survived many attempts to free the 200 quid from its stronghold. Not even gravity could do the job, as it was dropped 100 feet from a crane. <laughs> Fire, petrol-powered angle grinders and sledgehammers roughed it up, but only a little. Two stock cars tried the smash and grab technique to give the safe a right good kicking, but it was the cars that came off second best. Celebrity hardman Dave Courtney and chums might have cracked it if they'd had more time. But villains never like talking about more time. So, not tired of the punishment yet, our safe was up for some more. This time, explosive experts attach some gear to it that burns at 17 and a half kilometers a second. But not even all that energy could find a way in. So, it's time to bring in the heavyweight champion of the world. The number one lean, mean fighting machine. The Challenger 2 tank and its four-man crew from the Armoured Trials and Development Unit of the British Army. Our plan of attack today is to fire two different natures of ammunition at the same. The first nature is a training round uh, that we actually use, and it's a kinetic energy round. It uses its speed and hopefully will penetrate the, the safe. If it penetrates the safe, then obviously the pressure will make the safe explode. The second nature is the chemical energy round, uh, which is full of high explosive. And the idea behind this round is when it hits the safe, it will explode and hopefully blow it to smithereens. Now, if I was the safe, I would be nervous. This is the best tank in the world. It was extremely effective in Iraq. Just ask the bad guys of Baghdad. And for a big fella, it can move 56 kilometers an hour on the road, 40 kilometers an hour cross country. But it's the skill of the crew and the power of the weaponry that will try to crack the safe open. The first few rounds to be fired are training rounds. They travel at over 1,000 meters a second. Our safe is just 900 meters away. to inspect the damage. One of them has obviously come pretty close, as you can see for the glancing bone, it's went off up and created a trench up behind the safe. So what we're going to do next is fire another three uh, DST and hopefully get a round on the safe. Bingo! Time to see if the army have cracked the safe. Roger, uh, not pretty much left of the safe. It's destroyed. Completely? Completely. You can see there's nothing uh, left in the safe at all. It's all been uh, destroyed and wiped out. So all it took was a two million pound tank firing over 3,000 pounds worth of ammunition to get into a safe containing 200 quid that got destroyed or disappeared in the blast. I've no idea what we're going to tell the Brownlow boys. Mm -hmm.